Lord Robert Baden Powell. He was a British general, a war hero of Victorian England, a spy who posed as an entomologist while serving on the island of Malta, and was a definite lover of. But he's not a name everyone knows of today. Nearly all of us here in the US though, do know of the Boy Scouts of America. And most countries around the world are represented amongst Boy Scouts internationally. Well, Baden Powell started all of that. And Wikipedia notes all sorts of interesting things about Baden Powell, including that he was an ambidextrous artist. What isn't mentioned on Wikipedia though, is that his ambidexterity extended much farther than that of just an artist. In between becoming a national war hero and starting the Boy Scouts, Baden Powell was vice president of an organization called the Ambidextral Culture Society. The year was 1905, and John Jackson, who was secretary of this organization, wrote what was basically their handbook, of which Lord Baden Powell wrote the introduction. Having long been accustomed to write with either hand, and to use the two hands interchangeably, I am quite in sympathy with the object of this treatise. To train the human body completely and symmetrically is an obligation that cannot safely be ignored. There is no doubt that the value of ambidexterity from a military point of view is immense. I get through a great deal extra by using the right and left hand alternately, but I thoroughly appreciate how much more can be done by using them both together. Lord Robert Baden Powell even wrote his signature at the end of this introduction using both his left and right hands. Up until the present day, the Boy Scout handshake is practiced among scouts and is simply a left-handed handshake. If you're a scout anywhere across the world and you've had multiple dozens of this handshake and maybe feel a little more developed on your left hand side, you can thank the ambidextrous Lord Baden Powell. And as a side note, I don't know if this was intentional or just bizarrely coincidental, but this very man who so dedicated himself to the equal understanding and balance of both sides of the body, when he died in 1941, was buried right in the middle of where our planet's northern and southern hemispheres meet. That's right, the tomb of Lord Baden Powell is located just a short distance from the latitudinal center of Earth right along the equator in the city of Nyeri, Kenya. If you want to learn more about what inspired Baden Powell's ambidexterity, as well as the ambidexterity of his own Queen Victoria, click the Amazon link in the video description feature below and purchase John Jackson's book, Ambidexterity. And just note, it's not the easiest, lightest read, considering it's written in English from Britain over 115 years ago, but it is an interesting book considering the then prevalence of ambidexterity in and around Great Britain, and because of the book's investigation into the history, antiquated science, and perception of ambidexterity as a practice that would benefit all world cultures who choose to embrace it.